Welcome everyone and welcome to our fifth non-fungible auction. So for the people who don't know how we work, we uh, usually organize these at uh, important conferences such as uh, today at NFT Berlin. Thanks for the organizer and everyone. Um, what we'll do, we'll auction a few NFTs from projects that we like, from projects that have worked with us and from ourselves as well. And uh, up to all the profits will go to charities from 50% as the bare minimum. Some projects have, of course, to get some cost. Most of it will go to charities. So what we'll do uh, today, I think it'd be possible to auction from, um, from the phone. So there is a phone number if you can show it on the screen. You can um, call us, uh, follow it from Twitch. Big up for the people on Twitch following us. Um, and we'll kick it off when this kicks off. The, the first thing that we're going to auction, we usually this, do this as a bit of a, of a tradition. Uh, Blackpool will be the first to auction a, a piece of, uh, of NFTs, a piece of our history. So I'll just briefly talk about Blackpool. Um, we are an NFT hedge fund. We basically invest uh, in NFTs pretty early on. Uh, we have an advisory role in most of the projects that, uh, that we decide to go in bed with. Um, and what we do, we actively manage that collection of NFTs to return uh, as high a yield as we can. To do this, we have a whole bunch of strategies. We have a bunch of experts that are going to be following closely and so on. So what we do, we redistribute, we redistribute that yield to uh, our stakers, our investors. And today, uh, let me just show you quickly some of the um, projects that we have invested in. So a lot of GameFi, a lot of a lot of it was gaming into 21. Not gonna lie, yield-bearing NFTs are gonna be a big thing. I'm pretty sure we're gonna invest in a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of the world in uh, infrastructure and so on. But so far, we're pretty big in gaming. We have a guild, which means we have uh, hundreds. We have like a thousand, six hundred, thousand, seven hundred of players around the world. They're all doing an amazing work uh, as well. Like, they are a great, great community, and some of them have started their own charities. Usually, we actually support those guys uh, with these auctions. Today, we decided to do a little bit different, but I'm still gonna do uh, a little hi to Rolando and his team and so on. I always try to, uh, to say thank you to the community because they're doing a great job feeding um, children in Philippines, for instance. So big up to those guys. But today uh, we're going to be uh, auctioning one of our uh, NFTs for Asami, which is a Lebanese uh, NGO. Um, and I think the video is going to show it better than me and talk to it a bit better than me. So if you can... In Lebanon, children born to underprivileged families have limited access to specialized pediatric care due to the lack of qualified and affordable facilities in public hospitals. Since its establishment in 2016, the NGO Asami Birth and Beyond has treated over 2,570 infants in the Carlos Salim Center for Children at the Beirut Government University Hospital Carantina. With the support and commitment of leading pediatricians and surgeons and expert nursing staff, Asami Birth and Beyond was able to treat a wide range of cases for a fraction of the cost incurred in private hospitals. Our mission is to save Lebanese, refugee or stateless babies and children of all ages. Children in need, whose parents are unknown or in prison. Children left at orphanages and others in garbage bins. To continue providing them the specialized medical care they need and deserve is a daily challenge. Asami Birth and Beyond 
is dedicated to the well-being of babies and children in Lebanon. Right, so 100% of the profits from the sale, which is from our uh, in-house artist, will go to that uh, NGO. So uh, just a few words about our artist. He unfortunately could not be here uh, with us today, but um, Octopus is, well, is the Web3 version of a pretty good uh, Web2 uh, comics um, designer, comics artist, comic book artist, sorry. Uh, he worked, for instance, with like things that you may have heard about, like Star Wars and and uh, Marvel and things like that. So he decided to uh, lend his, uh, his pen to us and I think for the fourth time now has made a, um, what we call a Nigeri, so uh, a representation of the city that we do the conference in. So today uh, we did this in Berlin. So he took his inspiration from the city of Berlin and made uh, Alexandra. So I think I'm gonna butcher the name here, but it took an inspiration from the Fer uh, Fernstern. Is that is that a, is that a place in in uh, Alexanderplatz? Anyway, sorry about the pronunciation. I, I I'm, I'm hopeless at German. Uh, and he also took some inspiration from uh, German bands like um, like Kraftwerk, uh, Kraftwerk. <laughs> Why is German so hard? Seriously, guys. Anyway, and Rammstein. That I can pronounce Rammstein right. Anyway, that's why there is all this sort of a radio vibe to it. Uh, and also, of course, this series of, of posters uh, are inspired from the 60s and 70s concert happening in Miami there where you know, the concerts were already completely fully booked anyway. They were just doing the posters for fun. They were doing the posters as collectibles and that's what we're doing here as well. So we already have a few other posters and this is the latest uh, latest contribution to that. And we, the sort of a common line between as well of these, uh, of these um, posters is the uh, influential influence from uh, Musha, which in this case we find in the mic. So there it is, that's Alexandra from uh, Octopus, and we will start bidding at 0.3 ETH. I hope you took your ledger, I'm not going to take no for an answer. If I point you in the, in the room, you have to bid. That's kind of like the thing, you know. I, I see you, you just did this, is that, is that, is that, okay, 0 0.3 first. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you go out of that room actually, you know, if, if it doesn't go uh, as I, I wanted to do. For uh, just like for precision, these do not go from 0.3. So, you guys came here to bid, right? 0.3 here. Thank you. I think I saw a hand there that if you do this, that means you're bidding. That's 0.4, is it? That's 0.4, it is. Zero. 0 0.4, thank you, Beth. You, you do know that Blackpool is a bit of a fan of utility, right? Like nothing in Blackpool comes with nothing, right? You do, you do realize these. I mean, I'm not gonna give more alpha than that, but uh, might give you access to others. So. 0 0.5, yeah, he knows us, that's why. Zero point six next. I'm not letting you go below. I mean, mm, can someone lock the room? Just like to make sure that I'm not letting anyone go. <laughs> anyway, did I see zero point six? Nice, thanks. I knew there was something missing. Now we are talking. So who's up for zero point seven E? Okay, zero point seven. Someone is that a that is, that's a that's a zero point seven, sir. That that is like you can't you can't take it back. You can't take it back. Right. <laughs> no worries. Is that it? Zero point seven. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we are getting a little bit closer to what this is really worth. To be honest, how how much did the last one go for? Two ETH. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll stop bothering you guys at like one ETH. If you give me one ETH, then it will be good. And then you can go if you want, but after. Otherwise, you're all locked in here and you're missing the KitKat. Okay, we have 0 0.7 here. I mean, that, that guy's a pretty good lad, so I'm gonna let him go away with it, with, with 0 0.7 ETH. If that's okay. That's 0 0.7 ETH once. That's 7 point, 0 0.7 ETH twice. Well, that works. Zero point seven eight. Thank you, sir. Right for the next uh, for the next person. This time we are going to go a little bit further and go back to the uh, theme of that auction, which is Berlin. And what better in Berlin than? Take no music. There you go. So Alain from uh, Bolero, you can actually. There you go. Yeah, I one think two. we can. Come on. One two one two. Can you hear me? Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Alan Zovigian. I'm head of music at Bolero, uh, Paris-based Web3 platform, music platform that is shaping the future of uh, the music industry as we know it. Uh, before I present to you the project that I've been building for the past couple of months with my friend uh, Sam Abdul Hadi, the Palestinian DJ and producer, uh, I wanted to present to you a quick video description of what it is that we do at Bolero that will save you the pain of a commercial pitch and hopefully uh, you'll understand what we do better Next slide. Yeah, it's not for me. Oh. <laughs> that would be too easy for me, really. <laughs> So yeah, as you can probably tell from that video, our mission is uh, to empower uh, and shape the future of the creator's economy, obviously worldwide, but this time around, we're focusing on uh, Lebanon and more specifically the Beirut music scene. So you might ask yourself, uh, why Beirut and, and why Lebanon? Well, first and foremost, uh, it is our opinion that Beirut and its music scene is the bedrock of electronic music culture in the Middle East, as much as Berlin is to Europe. And also, as you probably know, second of all, secondly, sorry, uh, over the past two years, the country has gone through a, a major shift. It went from being a pretty developed country to being third world. It all started with a failed revolution and that failed revolution directly led to the banking system and sector collapsing. Uh, why did it collapse? Because, you know, we were giving 10% interest on deposit, uh, doing nothing. And all of a sudden, that whole thing collapsed, that Ponzi scheme. And people went from being able to access the, their income, their uh, uh, savings, to not being able to withdraw or use banks just the way we do on a daily basis so imagine going to the bank having hundred dollars and your bank telling you that you can't possibly have more than nine or ten dollars on on that amount this is the reality of what they're going through and on top of that arrived you know a political uh, crisis with no prime minister or president for a year and then we all went through the same thing uh pandemic with you know in a country with no infrastructure it's kind of hard to deal with followed by what is you know the 
camels that uh, the, the draw that broke the camels back, uh, the explosion in the port of Beirut that not only took hundreds of lives away, but also destroyed the, the soul of a city. So a lot of people were affected. Today we're focusing on, on the artists, on the music scene. And from that moment on, it was kind of a dark path for them to follow. You know, they went from being able to make sort of a living by playing here and there in, in a couple of clubs to not being able to play, not have the infrastructure that any other scene uh, uh, has from a music business perspective. And on top of that, if they were to make any type of money, they can't possibly access it. And this is where the whole rationale be behind why Web3 and crypto and a platform like Bolero that leverages the social token and the NFT makes sense for artists in Lebanon because it just gives them their freedom back. They're able to mint a song, create a social token, cut the middleman, get their money straight into their wallet without anyone having to, you know, interfere, basically. So the third reason why we're focusing on Lebanon is because prior to joining Bolero, uh, I was uh, basically in charge of all the uh, festival and club partnership at Boiler Room TV in London, where I met Sama. And her and I share the same love for, uh, for this country and for the scene. So it was just natural for us to go back to, uh, to Lebanon using that technology and give it to them so that they could just solve at least half of their problems. And uh, yeah, if we can get to the next slide, please. Now we're getting into the, into the thick of it, the, the, you know, the reason why we're here today. We wanted to uh, focus on, on something special for you guys build a use case through NFTs that are a box in which you can put whatever you want in it. And for us, it was about making it meaningful for you and for them. So the item we're auctioning off today and that you will be bidding on is basically the first ever music NFT compilation coming out of the Middle East that is carried by a global superstar. Um, and on top of that, all the songs are one of ones, the edition of ones that have been created and produced specifically for this compilation. They are unreleased. And on top of that, the beauty of it is that the artists have decided to share some of the rights with you. So it comes with a 49% royalty on the master share. So for those who don't know, it means that should this track be exploited commercially, you will be beneficial owners on top of being owners of the songs. That has never been done before. It's kind of unprecedented on the scene. And it's their way, the artist's ways, of donating to this project so that they can receive back and inspire other people in Lebanon to basically go the Web3 way and find solution for themselves with the, uh, with the art that they create on a daily basis. Uh, the inspiration behind uh, the artwork as you see it is kind of personal to the, to the Lebanese way of life. It, it depicts the duality of how we feel about Lebanon. It's, um, you know, it's hard to explain, but there's a love-hate relationship with the country and everything that makes it. What makes us love the country also is, are the reason why we hate it. And this is something we all feel deeply as artists, citizens, and uh, yeah, we wanted to, you know, show the duality between the moon and the sun, the love and the, the heart and the brain, the devil and the uh, the angel. And obviously, Lebanon is a country where you can ski and see the the sea at the same time. So it's you know a very dual relationship. It was created by Hiba, an art director from. Uh, Lebanon, who lives in, in Dubai. And last but not least, why we chose to support Nusaned as an organization. So when Sama and I flew to Beirut uh, in, in January with William, the founder of Bolero, uh, we wanted to basically work with an NGO that's going to help no matter who you pray or vote for or vouch for. And Nusaned just does that. Uh, they They you know, are apolitical, they're non-religious, 
and it's just uh, it felt right to uh, partner with them and give them the money we're able to raise so far because on top of going there to film the documentary that Sama is working on and doing an artist residency where everybody has produced the tracks you're gonna hear as part of this mini mix uh, uh, you know we we uh, brain freeze uh new senate basically uh is is the most meaningful way to help people in lebanon because with just one eth you can support three families of four people for an entire year food and shelter and right now we're more focused on the micro issues than the macro issues because we can't possibly solve it with a music nft program but we feel that you know human decency is is the is the basis here and the reason why uh we chose new senate for them being a political and non-religious and they have a direct impact on on the lives of hundreds of people in uh in lebanon so i'm i'm leaving you with uh with a little mini mix that we put together because the compilation is like 30 minutes long on top of coming with a, a royalty share and uh, it lasts seven minutes and it gives you a grasp, a snapshot of where the scene is at today, how they feel the music they wanted to share with you. And through the raise we organized in, in Beirut, uh, Paris and London, we raised 15,000 so far and I hope we can, uh, we can double that today with your help. Thank you Blackpool for the opportunity and stake though. Uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. And on behalf of everyone who's involved in, in this, uh, thank you for your, uh, for your uh, collaboration and participation into this auction. Yeah, while we are listening to the music, let's start the bid. Actually, that's a pretty good bid to actually start bidding. So we'll uh, start bidding at 0.5 ETH and again, I'm not letting you go. That's just not gonna happen. So I wanna see 0.5 ETH. Anyone? 0.5 there, perfect. So how much? 0.6. That's 0.6 here. Well, 0.6 is not gonna cut it, guys. We have to raise about $15,000, which is, I mean, that's the next price of ETH is what, like, I don't know, like I mean, ETH is about like 200 bucks now, right? So, I mean, you know, for you, ETH. I wanna see one ETH. Come on. So you just come in the room? That's one each, sir. Yep, one each there. He's gonna do it later, it's fine. Come on, guys. You have a 0.6 euro. 0.7, is it? One more. Do we have someone on the phone, by the way? Okay. Yep, sorry, you are. One ETH, right, thank you. Who's, who, who are you on the phone with? He's not there, is he? <laughs> well, you're lucky. Okay, so we are one ETH. Um, I'm not gonna let it go away with one ETH. Uh, we have to raise about, like, a lot more than that if we want. Come on, I'm sure you came in with your, lad your ledger. I mean. Again, I'm keeping you here. I'm not. I'm not letting you go to KitKat if that doesn't go for at least like two. Is that a? Is that a bit? That's a bit. A bit. Careful. That's the rule, though. Okay, so we are at uh, one ETH there, right? Come on, give me one point two. Sir, with the glasses here. Where are you from? <laughs> yes, you. Iceland. Plenty of money in Iceland. You can spare 1.5 ETH for that. I mean, come on, I got a friend in Iceland. Like, his, his rent is like my monthly salary, so. Yeah, I gotta try something. <laughs> right, we are at 1. 1.2 ETH, was it? I'll give you 30 more seconds, and we're gonna have to close this one and, and go to the next. But come on, you've seen, you've seen the importance of work that they are doing. Let, let's not let this go for just one ETH, come on. Sir? 
Right, I'm gonna have to let it go. You have someone? No? So we're gonna one ETH once. One ETH twice. Ah! 1.2. Thank you, sir. 1.2 ETH. Now we're talking. Who's 1.4? Come on, me 1.4. 1.5, you know 1.4 is just not a, this is a bad number. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you get 49% shares on the master. That, I mean, in itself, you're doing a good deed, but like there is some pretty good value after that. 49% of the masters, as, as you said, is not just the royalties from the artists, it's anything. It goes on an advert, that's 49%. It goes in a movie, that's 49%. It goes to KitKat, you don't. <laughs> Come on, so we are at 1.2, uh, was it? 1.4? 1.5? Come on. Get to 1.2 once. 1.2 twice. And 1.2. Thank you, sir. Right, next, I'm uh, gonna have to call our friend, um... <laughs> sorry, from Brohouse, Jonas, sorry, Jonas, um, who works with Brohouse and Patricia Gloom, and is gonna explain everything. Round of applause, guys, please, come on. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see all of you, and um, hi to everybody who's watching this online. Um, today I'm super excited to present to you a new video from the New York and Paris uh, based uh, production company Brewer House. It's, um, it's a, a short video called Forged in Chaos um, and it's kind of like a po poetic documentary uh, painting an authentic picture of two young people uh, who live in the, who are, um, very central in the um, ballroom Vogue dancing community in New York. It's um, um, it's not the first collaboration between uh, filmmaker Patricia and the two dancers. They actually had a, a video uh, a year ago called uh, "Do You for You," which uh, was um, which actually won the um, Love Story Film Festival um, for best movie, and it was also nominated for um, the Canada Film Festival and the Chelsea Film Festival. So we're very excited to see where this film is going, uh, but we can already reveal that it's uh, it will be premiered as uh, Vimeo staff picks next um, Thursday, and that's actually the first time it will be shown to the the broad public. But you guys are actually going to be the first people who will see it, um, well, of anyone. <laughs> so it's a spe very special premiere today. And so to, to celebrate or to kind of um, mark the launch of this video, we are minting four NFTs, which are short snippets from the um, animations in the video itself. Um, and uh, you will see that when we, we I'm going to show you the, the whole video and you will see that there are some animations in between, which will be the, um, the basis of these NFTs that we're minting for this video. Uh, we're also super, super honored to be able to share the um, revenue from, from the sale with um, the charitable organization called um, uh, Eco 100 Plus, which is an organization based in Greece, um, and they focus on uh, the ongoing refugee crisis, which is still happening there. You know, and it's it's not an issue that we see so much of anymore. But it's the truth is that it's still uh, there's still thousands of people coming from, especially Syria and other like war, um, uh, um, other countries that have issues with like war um, at the moment. And it's, it's still a big strain on the communities. And of course, most of all, it's, it's a, a big problem for all the refugees that still um, suffer from, from, from these circumstances. And we're super happy to be able to work together with this organization and, and to, to, to provide them some, some financial support for the work that they do. Well, maybe I'll just say it afterwards. Play, you can feel free to play the movie now. Hey son, I have a poem that I wrote. You wanna hear? Here, yeah. here, yeah. here. Speeding through the misty meadows of my subconscious mind, I tend to blow past the signs of harmony. I think you saved me. Do not come searching for me. 
I am where I need to be. You were the first person I ever asked to be my mother. It was awkward. It was, it was, it was a bit awkward. I was it like, was. girl, I was like, what you talking about your mother? Because then I had I to explain like... to my mom that I had this person in my life who I called mother in the ballroom scene. Right. That comes over and takes me out of it sometimes. My mom left me in the hospital. For whatever reason, I don't know. My father's never been in my life. You came at the right time. I didn't know what I was trying to do. I was telling people about you being my son, and people were like, you have a son? I'd be like, yeah, I have a son, but he's my gay son. He's my best friend, but he's my gay son. Or I cook for him, you know, we watch movies, we vote, yeah. we do everything. The definition of being like a son to someone in the scene is like being able to be taken care of and trusting someone. The poem that I wrote, that I wrote, that I wrote. That's what explains all of this. Raw with emotions deep to the core. Your tears rolling down to the ocean's floor. I am way down in the sea of dreams. Do not bother searching for me. That's why you're my son. That's why you're my son. You know, okay, girl. Of this that touchy feely stuff. You know, we need to. <laughs> we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>You wanted to add something, Emily, for... Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually, uh, so, uh, yeah, so this was entire, this was, like, the full short movie. And um, I think on the next slide you will be able to see... Yeah, so so essentially for for the launch of this film, we are then minting four of these uh, animations that you probably saw in the middle of the film. Um, and we will be minting essentially, like, four... Single edition unique NFTs, and there's only and, and this is the first one that we are launching, and, and so essentially this is I would say probably the best moment to uh, to to jump on this, you know, because um, we're also currently submitting this video to several film festivals and stuff, so we're very curious to kind of like see how how it will be received and stuff, and I think that uh, the, yeah the remaining three NFTs will be minted later on, so but this is like the, the first moment and the first uh, first chance essentially, so. Um, and uh, essentially, like the, the project itself, you know, the, or like this animation or this uh, artistic uh, output was kind of it. It was essentially like the result of an ongoing artistic exploration. It was a collaboration between Patricia, which is the filmmaker, the dancers, and me, who uh, is the digital artist who essentially worked on this. And um, and we, we basically wanted to see how we could kind of. Um, translate you know the this these kind of like moves so this this dance space into sort of a digital space uh, and we're, we're pretty excited about how it turned out and um and we also never really embarked on this project with the intention that it would become like a, an nft or like that that was like the final outcome um, it was always just kind of like a creative um pursuit or it was it was driven by our own kind of creative interest and our creative passion uh, but today we feel that like this is such a we really like that uh, we feel that like making it into nft is is the right kind of out final destination for it because um, uh, it serves as like the artistic token for the entire video and it also actually helps uh, similar projects uh, be possible in the future so um, so that's why we're very excited to be able to present this to you today thank you very much thanks a lot Jonas. At the survey. Now we're on set. Um, so we'll be starting the bid at 0 0.5 ETH for the first of the four NFTs. So can I get just like a couple of a couple of pulls just to start with 0 0.5? Come on. Who here is going to um, to the party at KitKat later? Come on. Who's who's going? Show your hand. Come on. 
I know you guys are going. Come on, we'll start at 0 0.5. Uh, if, if it doesn't reach the uh, reserve price, we'll have to uh, reconvene for this one. So 0 0.5, let's put it just straight up to 1 ETH. Otherwise, we're going to be closing this one and putting it up at the next auction. Can I get one ETH? No. You guys have been affected by the price drop today of, uh, of ETH, didn't you? If I don't see one ETH in the next 10 seconds, we are going to move to the next part. So we reconvene once, twice, and three times. That will be for another time, guys. Shame on you, though. <laughs> I'll remember that at KitKat. Sorry, guys. So next um, would be uh, Technopunk, please, and Christian's Commas. Yeah, come, come over, just no worries. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, you're gonna have one mic for two people, so. Yeah. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, crazy to be here. Um, we're in Berlin, Technopunks, it just makes sense. And we're here with Christian Campus. And maybe you can go to the next slide. And I'll talk a bit about Technopunks which is basically the very first um, DJ and raver related collectible in the NFT space. So it's basically a historic thing. Um, and yeah, like today we're actually presenting um, a new collection, which is called Technopunks Back to Back. And what we are premiering actually is like um, one of one NFTs, which are collaborations together with me with um, music producers. And this is the first one today, which we are showing together with Christian Campus. He's a crazy, um, um, brilliant uh, techno DJ and music producer. And I'm really stoked about this because I really want to show this, what, what we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say this is extra special for me because his NFT was the first NFT that I ever bought in my life. Right. And that's how we met, sort of, and uh, through somebody over here as well who connected us. And uh, yeah, the charity uh, is the Water Project, pretty self explanatory about um, providing water to sub Saharan communities in Africa. And the main reason why we chose this is because we wanted to make sure that the charity gets the, gets the most funds possible so they don't get like 10% of the money that we give them or 30, which is the standard. 80% goes to the water project and they basically take care of setting up wells and dams in uh, these sub-Saharan African countries and getting the communities informed and uh, following up with them, you know, educating them, providing sanitation through hydration, all that stuff. So that's where all 100% of our... Um, Whatever we make from this auction is going, all of it is going to the water project. Yeah, let's show the NFT. Yeah, yeah, I think we can show uh, it. Maybe I'll just say real quick, it's um, number 71 and it's called Rave Kong. <laughs> Can we do it a bit louder, though? It is, and then uh, just, it's just what I hear when I walk around in Berlin, anyway. <laughs> so we have a starting bid at uh, 0 0.5 for the Techno Point 71. Yeah. So 0 0.5, start with. We got 0 0.5. So, some, some of you probably know the guy. That's that's why. We'll see who does and who doesn't. Uh. Also, there's ac actually another thing we want to mention, which is... There's um, also physical collector's item that we brought and made for this um, collaboration. We are really stoked about it. Um, yeah, let's see it. Is this, is this really fragile or can you guys uh, show it a little bit? Um... That's really nice. 
Yeah, I want that. <laughs> yeah, I get the running this. Is this, yeah, so we, this is one-sided, obviously, to make it even more rare. We etched the one side with a loop continuously for seven and a half minutes, so you can really, really get into it. And yeah, this is the physical part of it, which is pretty awesome, I think. <laughs> yeah, I guess that straight up, how much, uh, how much you want to put? <laughs> Points of things, that works. 0.8, thank you. How much? <laughs> Who's on the phone with you? It did say eight, it did say eight, I think. That's what I heard. So we are eight ETH. That's very, very good, Laberton. Really, really nice of you. So who can beat eight ETH? Now, zero point, uh, we are about 0 0.8 ETH now. Closing on the reserve price. 0 0.9 here, thank you. Can you turn them off? Yeah. So we are looking for uh, one ETH now. If I'm right, one ETH. Aurélien, one ETH. <laughs> I don't think I'll. Uh, I don't think I'll let it go for 0 0.9. So we're gonna have to hear one ETH unless you want to be stuck here forever. That was not one ETH. That was. Sir, how much? Is that that's a, that's a sign for you actually? You know, if you do this, it's worse. I mean, come on, it's like 200 bucks, one ETH. All right, so we're at 0 0.9. I uh, yeah, I know you want it. I know you're happy with 0 0.9. I'm not. I'm not. I'll let it go at one ETH. If you put it up to one ETH, I might start the countdown. What about you? Your salary is okay, you can you can spare one ETH. <laughs> Alright, I've got 0 0.9, is that okay guys? How does that sound? Is that 0 0.9 we can? Okay, 0 0.9 once. So today I'm part of Blackpool, but I'm representing the project Butterflies that we are partner with. And the creator of Butterfly is not here today, but I represent uh, for him. So what's Butterfly? Butterfly is like PvP, uh, it's like player versus player and P2P uh, DeFi strategy game. It's uh, built on the uh, Trezor ecosystem and uh, it works with magic. Um, and today we are auctioning uh, a Butterfly for Save the Children. It's uh, an organization in Myanmar. And seen the military coup in Myanmar on the 1st of February. I think some of you heard about it. Uh, this is like a big problem of violence, and uh, some protesters are very young, and the repression is against children as well. So today we are raising money for this association. We are raising money with uh, the help of uh, Butterfly with Fazia, which is on the next, next slide, which is a one one uh, collaboration with Butterfly. It's a legendary one. Uh, you can use it in the, in the game and the peacock as uh, a pattern is a peacock because the peacock represents uh, a big emblem of power and um, freedom uh, in Myanmar. Um, the use of this NFT is uh, in a game but also it can yield uh, for you some magic and you can lock it and uh, honestly the price of it um, is very low for today and I think some of them uh, went out for in the price, in magic price, but in ETH for 2 ETH, something like this and more. So today we are starting big, it's at 0.2 ETH. And I think we can start now if someone wants to go on. Not too quick, I want you to bid on it as well. <laughs> so please, my friend. <laughs> um, we're starting at 0. We are starting at 0. Okay. I did now we are at 0. So you need to bid because double the power. Uh, you? Is that 0 0.2? That's 0 0.3 here. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> oh, it's already starting bidding. Is that 0 0.3? It is. Okay, 0 0.3. 0 0.4 there. <laughs> That's this. You mentioned the yield there already? Or? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can wait. <laughs> no, no, I know, no. There is, there is some yield to it as well. So. Yeah. So for, you're doing a good action, but also for your own benefit. 
So we are at zero points. Five. Zero point five there. Five? <laughs> zero point five. What about 0 0.5 here? <laughs> Check the price of ETH, that's like 100 bucks. Narcisse, if you want to go, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so 0 0.5. The game is going to be out, uh, was that in, I think the roadmap says the game's probably going to be out end of the summer. Yeah, during the summer, yeah. But you can, I think you can lock your NFT now. Yeah, yeah. you lock and, it, uh, you get yield and up to and during the game as well. Yeah, and Butterfly is a game, so it's an incubator. In incubator. So a lot of games, it will be kind of like... A, a, what a, a, it's a bank, yeah, it's a yeah. flywheel. Yeah. It's a flywheel into the Magic ecosystem, which is, uh, for us, I think, uh, one of the best ecosystems to launch a game on. So we are very really excited to, to partner with them. So at 0 0.5 once, 0 0.5 twice. Bit of some ASMR for them. And 0 0.5, was it? Yeah. Done. Thanks, Bertrand. Thank you. And thank you, Sorcier. I'm Docs, you can come here one. Uh, Hello, Twitch. That, that was the, <laughs> the big reveal. Um, actually, so for the next one, uh, we'll, I'll talk about it again a bit. Uh, some of you might know Staked Out. Um, Stake DAO is sister DAO to, to Blackpool, and uh, it's a great way to uh, access really good strategies for um, you know, ease access for retail. So you get access to liquid lockers, you get access to exotic strategies, things like uh, options and so on. So you get some of the, the best yield and the best money for your buck uh, on the market. It's all part of that curve war, I'm sure you guys heard about that. And what we're going to be auctioning this for uh, is a charity that I think we have someone to present. So the charity would be to be united. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so hi, I'm Victor. So um, yeah, I used to be head of economics and chief commercial officer at Arweave. And at Arweave, you know, we've been fighting authoritarian regimes, we've been fighting for freedom of information. And uh, so for me, it's all like pretty personal. So I come from Ukraine myself. And uh, so this charity to be united, uh, people from there, they're helping uh, people in Ukraine, in towns like Pucha, European and others who have been uh, under occupation, who, who survived the Russian occupation. You, you've seen like all the terrible photos and videos from there. So uh, people being killed for no reason, women and children being raped. Uh, and um, so uh, the thing about this charity to be united, why is great because it's uh, it's a small one, so it's not a big one, right? So like all the money that gets to them gets donated to them. Uh, today it's donated to them. Tomorrow they can buy things necessary right in place and bring it to people. It's like really, uh, yeah, it's, you're going to donate to a really great cause and like help people tomorrow already. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, what you just saw actually was a sneak peek at uh, the Animal Kingdom, uh, which is a sort of a game slash metaverse that we are uh, working on at the moment. Um, not gonna, not gonna let a lot of alpha leak on, on this one. But the, the the NFT that we're auctioning here is actually a, a fidgetal, so you'll get one of those like super cool hat. But on top of that, that's an NFT that you can wear in our metaverse as well. So it has some utility. You know, in the street, because you look, you look the coolest guy in the street, and also in the metaverse, because you they will convert it into that helmet. Once you wear that helmet, well, who knows? You get access to other places in the in the metaverse and what's behind, which is sticked out. So we'll start uh, this at 0 0.3 ETH, and I believe we have quite uh, quite a few people on the, on the phone. So 0 0.3 to start with. 0 0.3, yeah, once. 
So 0 0.4, not barely 0 0.4. 0 0.4 there, yes. You tell me. So we're 0 0.4 once, the, what you saw, like the, the metaverse there. And if you're wearing this, you get access to, of course, different part of the game. And some of those part of the games have also some sort of strategies. If you know stack that, well, you know that, you know, the, you know how these things work. You know what it's worth. They know what it's worth. That's why they are bidding against each other. What was that? I think he said zero point. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hesitating there. You see that? You look good with that helmet. <laughs> So at 0 0.4, what was it? 0 0.4 you said, was it? Yes, oh no, wait, 4. 4 ETH. <laughs> 0 0.5 here. Don't be scared, I mean, you, you, you're allowed to outbid him even though he's twice your size. So. <laughs> you, you act, yeah, you, you could put it in the treasury, yeah. That would work, I mean, not for us, but... <laughs> So we have 0 0.5 once here. Was that one? Let me see. Are the people online? Because I don't... Do you see them? If we're good for 0 0.5, I think we, be we believe we are getting close to... We need to give the room back. Uh, so... For the lucky cometh people, 0 0.5 once. Oh no, you actually, you lost it. 0 0.5 is here. Sorry. 0 0.6, you want to get it back? No, 0 0.5 once. 0 0.5 twice. And 0 0.5 for Narcissus. Big boy. Thank you, man. I think that's about wraps it up, guys. And right on time, it's just about 6 p.m. So we can all go and walk uh, to KitKat. But thanks a lot for um, the cash that we raised for all those charities. Uh, thank you guys for coming, staying all the way to the end. Thank you guys as well on Twitch for sort of following up. And uh, the next one, I believe, is going to be at the ETH CC in Paris. We're going to do another very big auction there. So probably a lot more to come then. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.